Hello. For this segment of our Textile Evening School, I, Nicola Perrin, will provide a bite-sized focus on careers that relate to the workshop this evening, which is all about embroidery. It really is bite-sized in that I will provide a summary in about six, seven minutes. Okay. So I will start with, off with a snapshot of some of the careers that have developed for our embroidery alumni from the textile degree course at Huddersfield. Some are in their early stages of their careers and others have now been working in this field for over a decade now. As a student, Nisha focused on a mixture of hand embellishment and digital Amaya work. For her degree show, Nisha created a sari inspired by her year's placement in Thailand. Now, Nisha is a senior maker of jewellery for Wolf and Moon and is based in North London. Sophie Dare is hot off the press, having only graduated this summer and is currently working hard on setting up her business as both a designer and maker of bespoke, high-end wall coverings and textiles. As I hope you can see in these images, Sophie's heavily inspired by nature, specifically through an understanding of wabi-sabi, and uses embroidery for its ability to textural, oh, sorry, to create textural products for interiors. It is interesting to note that embroidery can be as much about texture and form as it is about the decorative. Again, fresh this year, Alex's collection focused on very traditional methods of patchwork from Korea called Pajabi. Alex is now using this knowledge and insight to inform her new role as a digital print designer and fabrics aimed at the huge and global quoting and patchwork market. Emily's final collection was inspired by mistakes and spillages and making those marks that get left behind in incredibly refined and detailed embroidery. Having worked at a number of embroidery studios, including Hand and Lock, she now works as a maker for lighting specialist Naomi Paul. Lee has what is called a portfolio career in that she actually works by choice in a number of roles simultaneously. Having established a direction in textile art as a final year in her now global blood bag project, raising awareness of rare blood disease, Lee now uses her skills as a maker to create stitched illustrations while also working as a lecturer. And if you want to get involved with that blood bag project, feel free to go and um, search it on the internet. You'll come across it and you can still participate in it now. So what about careers that embroiderers have gone into in a more general way? Graduates from textiles at Huddersfield are always highly thought of in industry, particularly for their high level of skill or craftsmanship and their knowledge of technical applications within a broad range of contexts. So with a textile degree, and even more specifically, a specialism of embroidery, you can find yourself working in a vast range of sectors, including bridal, fashion such as menswear, women's wear and children's wear, or it could be interiors, um, costume as textile makers. Areas you may not have considered or been aware of include trends, medical textiles, technical and performance textiles, as well as venturing into illustration, graphics, surface design and stationery even. What's more is there are so many variations to most of the sectors, including couture and high end through to mass market and high street, as well as bespoke and professional craft markets. The field of opportunity really is vast. The work you see here is from Sunna, who, like Lee, who I mentioned earlier on, has a portfolio career and is currently working in both bridal wear as a designer and maker, as well as doing some lecturing. The directions or, I suppose, job titles can also be very broad, from being a designer for which the production is outsourced to being the person who actually does the practice as a maker particularly within the couture and bespoke markets. We have alumni who are now design directors in global companies, people working in the incredibly specialist and cutting edge field of medical textiles. 
Teaching is a big thing for our graduates who really enjoy the process of making and teach at all levels from technical support and primary through to university lecturing and running or teaching workshops in the community. This image of the front cover of an article in the Forward Thinking magazine Icon features the work of this year's graduate Georgina Ray. This is a classic example of a student who was focused on creating new trends based on current global events rather than the more traditional route of following trends. This particular issue of Icon is focused on the idea of pleasure and has literally just been released, so that's what, September 2021. And now we come to the other category. So kind of strange things, I suppose. Um, there are a small selection of roles that our graduates have used their wider design and artistic skills to carry forward into posts that are perhaps less obvious. For example, managing cultural projects like the UK wide cinema and picnic events, running high end stores such as Tommy Hilfiger, designing and making the accessories for window displays in all anthropology stores writing craft books for the hobby market. Working in the arts field is also direction embroidery students such as Clay Bowler, whose work you see here, um, um, can be done. So he has very recently had a film screening in Leeds and is currently working on a commission for the Yorkshire Sculpture Park and the Henry Moore Foundation. Finally, Another route that our students follow, sometimes having taken a break from study, and then returning or even moving straight on to higher level of study, um, go on to do MAs and subsequently sometimes PhDs. So finally, if you would like a little further insight into textiles at Huddersfield, want to observe our students work from a distance on Instagram, or maybe even find out a little bit more about studying textiles at uni, you might find these links useful. Feel free to get in touch with me directly if you like. Also, I will be covering more information on some of these roles in future evening school sessions, or feel free to ask me questions in the actual workshop. So I'm aware that quite a few of those kind of jobs that I talked about, I didn't really go into detail. So I will break that down a little bit more in the future workshops. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us and hope that you found this useful.